Now we've got more equations and applications. So we're going to be looking at factors and factoring to solve our particular equations. Don't multiply this out if the problem is already in factored form. And it's nice to know when it is because the question's almost done for you. If it's already factored and you've got zero on the other side, then set your individual factors equal to zero. And you solve. Y equals zero would be one of my answers. Y equals three. and y equals negative one-fourth. I prefer you to work the problems that way and show me the answers and just leave them once you're done. Maybe circle them so I can see them. I do think the book does this and has a little list. I don't particularly like that, but maybe it just is a, a space saver for them in the back. In this one, I'm going to factor by grouping. So I'm going to factor out a 4x squared. A minus, looks like 25. I think I need a 2 there, don't I? A minus 25. But notice this is a difference of perfect squares. So there's two ways I could do this one. I'm going to go ahead and factor. See, there would be a 2x, a 2x, a plus, a minus, a 5, and a 5. So I've got 2x plus 1 equals 0, 2x plus 5 equals 0, and 2x minus 5 equals 0. If you solve these, I'm running out of room, so you need to move the 1 over, becomes a negative 1, so x would be a negative 1 half. Move the 5 over, become a negative 5, so this one, x would be a negative 5 halves. And this one, x would equal a positive 5 halves. And guys, you can always check. You do need to check. Let's see if I can get this there. I'm going to store in a negative 5 halves. So a negative 5 divided by 2. The STO is right above your ARM key. If you press it, you get an arrow. Tell it the variable you want. And then you have to press Enter. So it's stored that. Now I'm going to type in the original equation. And it should come out to be a tr true statement. So I've got 8x to the third plus 4x squared minus 50x minus 25. And once I press enter, the calculator will put that negative 5.2 in and it will solve it for me. And 0 equals 0, that's a true statement. So I did check that one. The other, the other uh, two should check as well. But you need to get in the habit of trying to check, especially when you're going to have a test because then you'll know if you got it right or not. All right. Now, three and four. I have got um, fractions. I got to clean them out. And the way to clean out fractions is to multiply by the least common denominator. Now, I cannot factor any of these. But my least common denominator here would be an x plus 1 and an x minus 1. Remember, you join all the factors up as a um, product. So I'm going to put x minus 1, x plus 1 out here. And the idea is I'm going to take that and multiply all the terms inside. So if I multiply this times this one, the x minus 1's cancel. So for that first fraction, all I would have would be that. Minus my second fraction, the x plus 1's would cancel. So I'd have a 2x and an x minus 1. 
In this one, the x minus 1's would cancel. And now I'm back to something that I've done before. I need to get rid of my parentheses. Whoopsie. Sorry about that. I like to get my x squares where they're positive, so I'm going to move it over. Let me see if I can combine some like terms here. So I'm going to add that to both sides. I'm going to end up with 0 on this side is what I'm wanting to do. Subtract that from both sides. Subtract that from both sides. Now you need to go and factor this. Pause me. Go factor it. Because I'm going to do it trial and error because I'm running out of room. Let me fold this up because I am running out of room. So if you did that by trial and error, hopefully you came up with 2x minus 3 and x plus 1. Set those factors, whoops, sorry, set those factors individually equal to 0. And so those should be my answers. Store it and see. Always check. Now this one, I do have to factor. But guys, these problems, as long as I have seen them, 9 times out of 10, this is going to be a combination of these two. So let me write this right under here. Foil that and see if it doesn't come up to be that. It does. My common denominator is going to be that combination. So let me get a different colored pen. Now I'm going to multiply by my LCD. But I'm going to multiply this fraction. I'll go ahead and do it first. So that times this, the x plus 3's cancel. So I'm going to have a 2 x minus 1 left. Now the next fraction, whoopsie, if I multiply this times this, the denominators eliminate. So all I have is a 2. My equal sign and me multiplying this times the last one, it looks like I'm going to have a 3x, a parentheses, uh, x plus 3. So if you have fractions um, in an equation, clear them out first because it gets you back to something that you've done before. So let me multiply 2x minus 2, 3x squared plus 9x. So be, uh, let me go ahead and move this stuff to this side. So I've got 3x squared plus 7x. This would be a minus 4 here, but I'd add it to the other side. So I think that does factor, so you need to try and factor it. Pause me and factor that. Let's see, be 3x. Um, I need a 4 here. So 3x squared outside is 3x, 4x, 7x, last time, last. Okay. So I'm going to set that individually equal to 0. I am going to check this one because it's sort of odd and hopefully you'll be able to see how I check it because I've got to go back to the original. I think I will do the negative 4 thirds. So negative 4 divided by 3 storing for x. So if you're dealing with fractions, it's to your advantage to put numerator in parentheses, denominator in parentheses. So 
parentheses 2 divided by parentheses x plus 3 minus parentheses 2 divide by x squared plus 2x minus 3. And let's see what we get on the left hand side. We get that. Let me try the right hand side. Parentheses 3x divide by parentheses x minus 1. Yay! So I know the negative 4 thirds work. Let me try negative 1 real quick. Negative 1 storm for x. I'm going to do a second enter, second enter, second enter until I get back to my very first one, my left hand side. That gives me that. So second enter, second enter, second enter. That's the right hand side. So I know they both work. Yay, both check. So get these problems, practice them.